there. As you know, I like to use this platform to give you information that I think would be helpful. I'm excited to do an interview with Jim Anderson, who was super helpful in keeping my 92-year-old mother out of the hospital a few weeks ago during this pandemic. Welcome back to The Local Loop. Um, today, I'm so excited to bring to you Jim Anderson. Hi, Jim. How are you? Hi, Joy. I'm great. Thanks. Thanks for having me. Oh, thank you for coming. So Jim Anderson is one of the owners of Hydrate MD. And um, gosh, Jim, you know, sometimes there are angels that come into your life. And I feel like you are, are truly an angel. Um, I, so to give some background as to why Jim is so special to me and will always be, um, my mother was uh, very sick. We, uh, you know, today's date is May 7th. I think I called you over a week ago uh, and mm -hmm. my mother's blood pressure was through the roof over 220. Uh, some background is my mom is 92. We're in the middle of the pandemic and, um, you know, the last place we wanted to bring her was to the ER. And I, I knew for sure that she was dehydrated because she hadn't urinated in over 24 hours. And, um, you know, we were trying to figure out what we could do for her without bringing her into the hospital where we were scared that she would catch COVID. So uh, I spoke to Jim and, and you're able to not only hydrate my mom, but to you, your a paramedic, you're able to see what she needed. And um, luckily now she is on antibiotics. She's feeling much better. Um, and so we'll for, be forever grateful to you, Jim. And, and I, I kind of wanted to tell people about your company and your services so that if they ever had a similar experience that they'd be able to call you. Sure. Well, let me give you a, a the quick backstory yeah. um, about five years ago, uh, my partner, Dr. Stephen Murphy, who is an intro medicine physician in town, um, started a business called Hungover MD oh. um, with another physician. And it was Hungover sort of a long, as in drinking too much, okay, as in <laughs> overindulging, which you know, we're all allowed to do, we are very judgment free, okay. Um, but very quickly, what we found was that most of our clients were not hungover at all, but they were coming to us because they had chronic yet routine medical conditions that always required them to go to the ER and sit there for four hours and get lab work done when they knew all they needed was some fluid. For example, people that were suffering with breakthrough migraine pain or people who have Crohn's disease, which is a gastrointestinal disorder, may have right. flare-ups. Um, and all they're doing is they're going to the ER, getting... Uh, very normal fluid, maybe some vitamins, but it's investing a huge amount of time, not only in co-pays and all that sort of stuff um, associated with the visit. So our business model initially was, you don't have to go to the ER. Uh, right. And for even today as under the insurance, uh, under the way insurance is structured now, for almost most of the time less money, we will send a nurse to your house and provide you with the exact same type of fluid, the same medication, same pain medicine um, as you would get in the ER, but you don't have to go anywhere. Um, and that's been a very successful model um, for, as I said, almost five years. In today's corona environment, things have changed a little bit. The paradigm of delivering medicine today uh, has changed drastically, where um, even for patients whose doctor would say, you need to go to the ER, even if it's just routine uh, dehydration, there's a fear factor now um, that to a certain degree is, is justified. I would say professionally as a paramedic that the hospitals are very safe, yet that doesn't mean that family members aren't going to still be scared uh, right. because of that outcome, especially when we're sending elderly, in some cases, elderly family members to the hospital where they have to be there by themselves exactly. because of the no visitor rules right. um, in all of our local hospitals. And that's a pretty frightening prospect for mm -hmm. uh, a, a daughter or a son who's 
possibly saying goodbye to, to oh a God. family I, member. It was so horrible to like even think about that. Yeah. E exactly. So what we're mm -hmm. able to do is not quite bringing the hospital home. We don't provide that level of diagnostic. Mm -hmm. However, all of our clinicians are very experienced and, and what we do on a routine basis is we'll provide a very basic uh, medical exam, we take vital signs, uh, test the pulse ox, your, your oxygen saturation for people who might be having some respiratory issues. Um, we have nurses that will, in fact, go and draw bloods for, um, for patients. Right. If their physician has been monitoring them from home, yet, okay, now we've been monitoring for a couple of weeks, we want to see where they are. But that requires lab work. Um, so we have a nurse go and we'll draw the bloods and get it to the lab for them. Um, so that sort of at home hospital care where we can still provide the routine hydration and vitamins that they might be deficient in for any number of reasons. Um, elderly patients don't eat very well. Um, they're bored of food or they just don't have that sort of thirst appetite. drive that yeah. we do. They have no appetite. So giving them some nutrition, a little bit of nutrition and the fluid that they need gives them, it, it boosts their blood pressure if that's necessary. In your mom's case, um, you know, she had been suffering with hypertension, as you mentioned, um, and she was treated for that. But I think that we discovered, too, that she had an underlying infection yes. that we could then aggressively treat with antibiotics and, you know, make her feel better. Absolutely. Um, but the hydration helped right away, I will say. It was... Yeah. night and day from the next day. And then once she got on the Cipro, then yes, she felt a thousand times better. Um, if, if you think about, if you know anybody who's ever had a hangover, and I'm not saying you, but <laughs> anybody who's ever had one, there's that really logy, just don't feel well kind of feeling, you have a headache, or yeah. if you've had the flu. Um, a lot of that symptomology is just simply due to dehydration. Um, your blood gets a little, this is a sort of a, a bad analogy, but it can get thick. Um, mm. It's not circulating as easily. Your body is not carrying nutrition uh, around as easily as it should. So simply by giving that extra fluid boost inside the system actually helps your cells metabolize better. Uh, it makes your blood flow more mm -hmm. easily. It doesn't thin it out really, but it, it increases the volume of fluid in you. And so your your body just works more effectively and more efficiently. Uh, so even before we give, say, um, anti-nausea medicine or we give an anti-inflammatory um, in addition to the fluid, just the fluid itself makes a huge, uh, huge difference for most of our patients. Right. Absolutely. I was actually at a Zillow convention recently in, in Vegas and a bunch of us were going to go up on stage and talk and we hired someone like you out there and we all got IVs because we had just been on the plane. We felt dehydrated. Maybe we had mm -hmm. gone out and, um, and it was just kind of interesting. There were so many things on this like menu of things that we could add into the, the fluid. Can you go over mm -hmm. what the different benefits are of certain vitamins and they had all different types of things that I'm sure you do. Oh, I'm sure Vegas did. They even <laughs> have, they have a, I think if it's still around, but they have a hangover bus that drives around on this trip. Um, but it's pretty popular in Vegas, Miami, um, Chicago actually has a bunch of brick and mortar spas uh, out in LA. Okay. But to your question, um, our base, hydration therapy is simply fluid um, and left over from our hungover MD days, we also will offer Zofran, which is an anti-nausea med yeah. medicine, mm -hmm. and Toradol, which is an anti-inflammatory, okay. uh, which is great for headaches and the breakthrough migraine pain, even post-workout aches and pain, like yeah. taking in a leave um, okay. after you work out. Um, and then on top of that, um, it's a pretty standard option of uh, we have B12, which okay. can either be given by injection, but the easiest thing is just to, we add it to our fluid. Mm -hmm. uh, B-complex, vitamin C, which everyone is familiar with uh, right. during cold season, everyone wants to boost their vitamin C. Mm -hmm. uh, zinc, mm -hmm. which is a pretty common mineral. It's the, the basis for the uh, Zycam, that cold remedy yes. that you yes. can get over the counter. Uh, 
We also will offer glutathione, which is a pretty powerful antioxidant, which does a, a number of things. But as an antioxidant, it helps rein in free radicals um, okay. from the bloodstream, which cause severe damage to tissue. Um, and people that get glutathione injections, they notice a difference in the tone of their skin. Oh. Um, so it really helps. So many men and women like it because of the way it refreshes their, uh, their complexion, but internally it's great for your metabolism, uh, and the overall boosting your immune system. Um, the other vitamins also work to enhance your metabolism. Um, okay. I, I was a science geek in, in high school and college to a degree before organic chemistry. <laughs> well, I got, I got hit by organic chemistry, which is why I'm not a physician right now. Oh, okay. Um, but at the, I think everybody did. I mean, if you survive organic the chemistry, point. then yeah, <laughs> you deserve you to be a doctor. You get your degree right then. Exactly. So if you remember things like Krebs cycle, oh, yeah. and mitochondria, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, the B vitamins are really, uh, they, they help facilitate the, the work of the mitochondria and improve your metabolism, which okay. is why people get energy boosts after they've taken uh, the vitamins. Oh. So in combination, we're able to improve immunity, we can give people energy boosts and improve their overall um, metabolism, which gives them energy and makes them feel good. Interesting. And how long do these boosts last? Um, it really is very patient dependent. Um, in some cases, depending on how, if you were B12 deficient, for example, you know, one of our boosts may get you back up to where you should be. And so the improvement feeling may only last a day. Okay. Um, but in, for some people, they report back to me and say that it's actually, they feel better for a number of days and it gets through what's going to be a, a bad weekend, especially if they've come back from traveling on a Thursday and they've got a whole weekend of kid activities or benefits or whatever, that right. they'll, um, they'll feel great through the weekend. And then, of course, they usually call on Monday or Tuesday and say, okay, I got to get through now this next week. Because right. um, some people do use it as a, as a routine part of their wellness. Yeah, yeah. No, I could see that. That's great. So I do want to add, really. Yeah, please. This whole pandemic is that we're seeing obviously a little bit less of that. Um, okay. Those kinds of I just want to be indulgent, and we're seeing uh, much higher numbers of referrals from doctors who are also hesitant to send patients, not just elderly, but anybody to just go to the hospital to get lab work done or go to the hospital, not for going and get an x-ray if you need it or a CAT scan, but right. for routine things like colds and acute gastroenteritis, the stomach bug, which is coming back, norovirus is with us again. We're wow. seeing more of that now. Um, to be able to stay home and yet have the benefit of the routine intervention and therapy um, has we've seen a, a market increase in. So we're glad that we're able to help. No, and and I think it's great. I think telemedicine is in our future. It's here already. Um, I I had excruciating pain in my hip, and so I called up a friend who's an orthopedic surgeon. And he told me exactly what it was. It was I was sitting too much, doing the Peloton too much, and not stretching at all. So mm -hmm. he gave me a whole bunch of stretches, and now I feel so much better. And it's just, you know, you're right. I would have gone to the doctor. I would have waited there for hours, gotten mm -hmm. frustrated, only to, to hear this. Um, and it, he solved my problem within a few minutes of, of just showing was it an Was it an IT band problem? I, yes, exactly. Yeah. I get that from squash. Yeah. <laughs> we do a lot of stretching. I have to at my age. I, I do too. And it's so important. It's probably more important than the actual exercise sometimes. So Right? Yeah, yeah exactly. Well, that's so great, Jim. So you were so like... I, so nice to give me your cell phone so I could contact you about my mom and everything else, but I don't want everybody else to be, you know, texting you in the middle of the night. <laughs> Thank so you. What's the best way for um, them to get in touch with you, the company and, and, you know, 
I, I got easy. really quick response when I went on the website. I know. Um, you, I believe, called the number that was on the website. It's on okay. the front page, the, on the home, on the home page. Yeah. Um, and I will tell you, I'm being totally transparent here. Yeah. Um, there's not anybody answering that phone. It goes. It's a Google Voice number, but yeah. it sends a, a a notification to one of us, whoever yeah. happens to be available. Um, and we try and get back to somebody as quickly as we can. Usually it's under an hour. Um, if we, if I happen to be by my phone, um, I will answer it. But yeah. if I'm working on my, on the ambulance, obviously I can't, but they can either go to the website and they can book an appointment through the website. It's pretty simple. Or they can, if they have questions, they can call, uh, the 900 number that's on there. I think it's the 900 number. Uh, mm -hmm. And just leave a voicemail saying, hey, I'm so-and-so, please give me a call back and somebody will get back to you and, and answer any questions. No obligation. We just want to get the word out that we are available and uh, hopefully we'll be there to make their family or them feel better. Yeah. No, I really appreciate it. And I, you know, I could just sense from talking to you the first time, I was like, I could tell you just really wanted to help. And, and I, I think that's great because right now there's a lot of people who need it. So, um, and we, like I said, we're forever grateful. You, you, you know, I feel like you saved my mom's life. You really did a great job. So that's thank you so super, much. That's so kind of you, Joy. <laughs> I, you know, I, I've been doing this, uh, you know, as I said, for a number of years, we've made really incredible connections with people. Um, it is a very almost intimate kind of connection one makes when you have a family member who's desperate and we're not in it for the recognition. I just like helping people. Mm -hmm. And if, if our technology and medicine can make them feel better, um, that's great. Um, and if we get a uh, uh, that sort of familial connection in addition to, it's just a bonus for us. Uh, I tend to be somewhat of a sharer. Um, but as a result, I've made really good friends who um, initially paid me for that friendship. But, you know, uh, right. we do our best to, to help everybody that we can as quickly as we can. And in today's environment, we know it's crazy and we really just want to be available. Well, thank you. We're going to have your information below. But it's Jim Anderson from Hydrate MD. And thank you so much. And thank you so much for being on the local loop. And We'll see you soon. Thank okay. you, Joy. I really appreciate yeah. you having me. All right. We'll be, be well. in touch, Jim. Stay okay. safe. Bye.